Welcome. We'll begin in our seated position, palms facing up, with thumb and index finger touching. Draw upwards through the crown of your head, elongating your spine, allowing your base to be stable and steady, your chest to be open and spacious, the shoulders to relax away from the ears, and the breath to be even and steady. Gently close your eyes, connect with the breath, notice the rise and the fall of your breath in your body. Now bring your hands together in Anjali Mudra. Release your legs and take your right hand to your right knee, your left hand to your right foot, rocking back and forth. If you prefer, you can place your foot into the inner crease of your left elbow and wrap your right arm around your leg. Now, take your left leg. Continue to rock forward and back. This helps to increase mobility in the hip. Release your leg and begin to fold forward, extending your arms out bringing your forehead to rest on the mat. If you're experiencing any mental tension, simply move your forehead back and forth to release that. Now guide your hands back behind you. Lift your heart upwards. From here, cross your ankles and come forward into child's pose. Extending again your arms forward in front of you. And once more, moving your head gently from side to side to release mental tension or any tightness in your neck or shoulders. Now walk your hands towards you and come onto your hands and knees. Now move through your cat-cow, drawing your navel up towards your spine as you round your back and releasing, drawing the heart forward and through the arms. Continue this way, synchronizing your breath with the movement. Now begin to draw your right hip towards your right heel. Continue once more. And then simply go the other direction, bringing your left hip towards your left heel, and making circles here. Move in an intuitive way. Now returning back to your neutral tabletop position. Draw your knee out to the right, back and down. Out to the right, back and down. Out to the right, back and down. Now the same with the left. Bring the knee out to the left, back and down. Out to the left, back and down. Out to the left, back and down. Last one, out to the left, back and down. Now guide yourself into your downward facing dog, breathing here. Draw your feet over to the side of your mat and then over to the other side. Getting into the hips and releasing tension. Now come down onto your knees 
Step your right foot forward into a low lunge position, bringing your hands into prayer and folding forward. Continue to draw your right hip up. Breathe into the stretch into your hip. Allow your shoulders to relax, but try to avoid collapsing towards the mat. While you're drawn down towards the mat, still remain slightly lifted. On your inhale, rotate your torso. Take your left arm to the outside of your right knee and extend your right fingers upwards, bringing your gaze to look up at your hand. Come back to center, frame your foot and draw your left knee back, folding in to Hanuman Prep. Now bend into your right knee, extend your arms out and lift your heart. Exhale, fold, bring your hands together at your heart and now, draw your right knee to your right wrist, coming into Pigeon Pose. Begin to fold towards the mat, first on your forearms, and then extending your arms out. If you feel that it's accessible to you, bring your hands into reverse prayer, guiding your thumbs towards the nape of your neck. Breathe deeply, notice sensation. Keep the muscles of the face soft and relaxed, the jaw loose. Now extend your arms forward Walk your hands towards you, lift your back knee, and return to your downward facing dog. Pedal your feet, giving your calves a nice stretch. Now draw your right leg up, bring your knee in towards your chest, step your right foot to your right hand, guide your forearms down towards the mat. Your back foot is at a 90 degree angle. Continue to press the edge of your back foot downwards towards the mat while you keep your right hip lifted. Breathe deeply here. Now slowly begin to make your way up, bring your left knee down, guide your right knee over your left coming into cow face pose. Draw your right arm up and bring your right hand and your left to meet behind your back. Stay drawn upwards through the crown of your head, rooted down through the base of the spine and breathing deeply here. Slowly release, bring your left arm underneath your right and hug in tight, breathe into the upper back. Guide your arms behind you, keeping your right ankle below your left knee. Begin to guide your right knee further away from you and your left heel closer to you. If you feel comfortable here, bring your left foot to the right side of the mat. Now guide your right knee towards your left ankle. Fold forward at the hip crease. If you're comfortable here, bring your forearms now down onto the mat and breathe here. If you'd like to go further, extend your arms out and bring your hands into reverse prayer, guiding your thumbs to the nape of your neck. Keep the jaw loose and relaxed. Sometimes when we feel intense sensation into the hips, the jaw can get tight. Any tension that you're experiencing right now, 
Release on your next exhale. Slowly bring yourself back up. Now guide your hands behind you. Come onto the soles of your feet, onto your knees and step your left foot forward. Returning to your low lunge on the left side. Bring your forearms down towards the mat, keeping the left hip lifted. Breathe deeply into this beautiful stretch for the left hip. Now make your way up, rotate your torso, draw your right arm to the outside of your left leg, extend your left fingers upwards towards the sky or the ceiling. Continue to reach upwards through your fingertips. On your next breath, slowly begin to make your way back. Frame your front foot and now guide your right hip crease back. If you feel you can go a little further into the stretch, continue to draw your left heel further towards the front of the mat. Lead from your heart. Guide your heart towards your shin. Allow your shoulders to be soft and relaxed and breathe into the stretch for your hamstrings. Now bend into your left knee, draw your arms upwards, lift your heart. Breathe deeply here. Exhale and frame your front foot. Come back to your downward facing dog. Pedal your feet. Move your hips from side to side if that feels nice in your body. And now guide the left leg up. Bring your knee in towards your chest. Step your left foot to your left hand. Guide your right foot back to a 90 degree angle, bringing your forearms towards the mat and breathing into the stretch for your left hip. Come forward, now bring your knee down, guide your left knee to your left wrist, coming into pigeon on this side. Begin to fold in, ensure that both of your hips are square. If you need to use a prop, you can either fold a blanket or a towel and slip it underneath the hip that's lifted. Allow your jaw to be loose and relaxed. Close your eyes and feel a sense of surrender. Now gently begin to make your way out. As you do so, crossing now the left knee over the right, coming into cow face pose on the left side. Bring the left hand to meet the right. Keep the spine nice and long.
Now release, bringing the right arm underneath the left, hug in tight. Bring your hands again behind you and start to once more guide your foot towards you. And now bringing your left knee towards your right ankle. Draw back at the hips, again leading from the heart and folding in. And as you fold forward, bringing either your forearms down or extending your arms out, bringing your hands into reverse prayer once more, if you did so on the other side. And now bring yourself back up and release. Windshield wiper, your knees from side to side. Coming now into Baddha Konasana. Draw your navel in towards your spine, round your back and fold in. For this Baddha Konasana, have a diamond shape between the legs. Have your heels further away from you rather than closer to. Feel a sense of softening while you're in the pose. Now as you come up, bring your heels closer to you. Draw the edge of the feet to touch and pull the soles of the feet away from each other. Now draw back again at the hip crease, once more lead from the heart and begin to fold in. Notice the thoughts that arise for you while you're in a particular pose. In this pose, notice what's coming up for you right now. Now slowly begin to make your way up. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Scoot yourself up your mat and gently guide yourself now onto your back. Once you come onto your back, coming in to thread the needle, interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. If you feel that it's accessible for you, you can take your hand to your foot and much the same you did in your seated position at the very beginning, wrapping your arm around your right knee and bringing your right foot into the inner crease of your left elbow. This will be a much deeper stretch than thread the needle. So choose what's most appropriate for you right now. Now release coming into half happy baby. You can also bring your hand, the heel of your hand, the heel of your foot, rather than your hand, the outer edge of your foot, for a deeper variation. Guiding the knee downwards towards the mat and using the strength of your arm as you do so, continue to press your foot into your hand. Now bend your knee and guide your knee across your body. Have both of your shoulders firmly rooted onto your mat. Breathe here. Now come back to center, draw your knee in towards your chest and now come into your thread the needle on the other side, interlacing your fingers behind your thigh or again, 
taking your hand to your foot, hand to your knee, or bringing your foot into the inner crease of your elbow and wrapping your arm around your knee. Keep drawing your leg closer towards your chest. Now, coming into your half happy baby on this side, either again taking your hand to the edge of your foot or the heel of your hand to the heel of your foot, guiding your knee out away from your side body and closer down towards the mat. Now cross your knee over your body. Again, keeping both shoulders firmly connected to your mat. Roll your head in the opposite direction from your knee and use your hand to gently guide your knee a little closer down towards the ground. Come back to center, hug your knee in towards your chest and release. Now cross your right leg over your left. Bring your hands towards either your ankles or the edge of your feet and move your feet upwards towards your shoulders. Keep guiding your feet closer up towards your shoulders. Breathe deeply into the stretch for your hips. Release, bring both of your knees in towards your chest, hug in tight. And now coming into full happy baby. Continue to gently guide your knees away from your side body and closer towards the ground. Now crossing the left leg over top of the right, bringing your hands either to your shins, your ankles or the edge of your feet and again, guiding the feet upwards towards your shoulders. The closer your feet come upwards, the deeper and the more intense this stretch will be. So once more, feel for yourself in your own body, what is the most appropriate place for you? And be there and breathe into it and enjoy the stretch. Now bring your knees out and back together, out and together, out and together. Hug your knees in towards your chest, lift your legs up, reach your arms up. And now bring a bend to your knees, circle your ankles, circle your wrists, Allow your joints to be loose, relaxed, and breathing here in dead bug pose for four breaths. If you feel a tingling sensation in your fingers or toes, just shake it out. 
Bring your knees in once more, huggy and tight. And as you exhale, release your legs, release your arms for Shavasana. Feel the earth supporting you. Let your body completely relax. Gently close your eyes if you haven't already and allow yourself to just be. As you are in this moment, perfect as you are in this moment. Now hug your knees in towards you and rock yourself up, returning to your seated position. Bring your hands to your heart in Anjali Mudra. Take a moment to acknowledge yourself and your efforts in the practice today. Now reconnect with your breath, inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the nose, allowing the breath to be steady and even. Thank you for joining me for the practice today. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.